All right, 63 says use the quadratic formula to solve. And we've been given 2n squared equals negative 8n minus 3. So because we have a quadratic equation here, meaning the highest power or the highest degree is 2, let's go ahead and move everything to one side and set this equation equal to 0. So let's add 8n and add 3 add 8n, add 3. So what we end up with now is 2n squared plus 8n plus 3 equals 0. And now that we have our equation set equal to 0, let's use the quadratic formula to solve. So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and the equation is x equals negative b so on and so forth but here we're using n as our variable so we can go ahead and say n equals negative b plus and minus so on and so forth so first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and identify a b and c because those are the values that we need to plug into the quadratic equation in order to solve for n so a b and c a is always going to be the coefficient of your squared term so in this case 2 b is going to be the coefficient in front of your n or the single variable to the first power in this case 8 and you always take the sign with you so if this was a negative 8 you would have b equals negative 8 and then lastly, c is our constant, and again, you would take the sign. In this case, it's a positive 3. If this was minus 3, then your c would be minus 3. And now let's go ahead and take our a, b, c and plug that into the quadratic equation. So we have n equals negative b, and it's important, go ahead, when you're plugging in, use parentheses just in case, so that it's uh, helpful in making sure that you don't make any little uh, errors with your signs. So n equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So what we end up with now is negative 8 plus and minus the square root. What is 8 squared? 64. And here we have 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. All over, 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so now we have, continuing on, equals negative 8 plus and minus the square root. 64 minus 24 is going to give us 40 over... 4 and we'll keep uh, keep simplifying here so we're gonna have negative 8 plus and minus and let's go ahead and break this radical up into good stuff bad stuff all over 4 so 40 is not a perfect square but what's the largest perfect square that we can multiply by some other number to get to 40 and hopefully you're thinking 4 and 10 4 can come out nice, clean, and clear. And so we'll have negative 8 plus and minus. What does radical 4 come out as? A 2. Rewrite your bad stuff. All over 4. And now we can go ahead and reduce all of uh, these numbers here. And one way that we can do that is by, let's see, I'm going to have to create some extra room here. So I'm going to go ahead and erase our A, B, and C here. And then we will move all of this up just a little bit. All right, another line. So what we can do is negative 8 divided by 4. Well, that's going to... Let's split this up into negative 8 divided by 4. And then we'll have plus and minus 2 radical 10 over 4. And so what we'll end up with is negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2 
plus and minus radical 10 over 2. 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes into 4 twice, so we have 1 over 2. And here is our final answer. So n equals negative 2 plus and minus radical 10 over 2. Please don't think that you can reduce this. 10 over 2 is not 5, right? This 10 is protected by the radical, and so we can't simplify this. This is as, <coughs> excuse me, this is as simplified as we can, we can take this.